Okay, this is just a quick video to show the BIOS setup on a Dell Precision 690. Uh, there's a few of these coming onto the second hand market now, quite cheap, and they're great computers for the money. <coughs> um, big solid computers uh, designed to just run all day, really. Uh, initially, we had a little bit of trouble setting up the BIOS on these to get them working uh, with a simple SATA drive setup, so I just sort of quickly run through the BIOS setup we've got here really. So if you hit F2 when you power them up, um, basically got the system info, processor info there. Uh, these will run up to two quad-core Xenons, up to 2.33 gigs. Uh, they also run dual-core Xenons up to three gigs. Um, memory uh, if you've got the optional riser card fitted, I think you can go up to about 64 gig. Uh, that just shows the PCI cards, date and time, boot sequence. <coughs> uh, yeah, so you just want that set to boot from the CD ROM drive initially, and then the onboard SATA. That's straightforward enough, really. Okay, drives. Um, Right, the SAS controller, really need, you need to switch that off. <coughs> uh, if you switch that off, on the hard disk, there's two sets of connectors for hard disks. There's the SATA, uh, I think, uh, to two connectors, up to three hard disks. And the HDD, to three connectors for uh, your SATA drives. Um, so if you... Uh, Sorry for the HDD drives. So the simplest way to set these up <coughs> is to turn the SAS controller off and your boot drive wants to be connected to the SATA zero drive. Um, okay, so then we've got diskette drive. Right, so drive zero SATA nor that's your boot drive. Make sure that's on. Uh, and if you've got any additional hard disks, you can have up to two more on the SATA drive. Make sure they're switched on. PATA drive, that uh, is for your DVD drive, so turn that on. Uh, SATA operation, you really need that set to ATA. <coughs> um, that's what we found. Once you've got that set up, it should boot no problem then. Um, from the SATA zero drive. Uh, initially, when we swapped this over, it wouldn't, still wouldn't boot. But if you restart two or three times, eventually it seems to sort itself out, and uh, now it boots really fast, uh, no problem at all. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Um, just basic, simple setup for basic uh, SATA hard drive configuration on the. Uh, Dell 690.